Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today our topic is nature and scope of economics. The scope of economics is the area or boundary of the study of economics. In scope of economics, we answer and analyze the following three main questions. Number one, what is the subject matter of economics? Number two, what is the nature of economics? And number three, what are the limitations of economics? Number one, subject matter of economics. There is a difference of opinion among economists regarding subject matter of economics. Adam Smith, the father of modern economic theory, defined economics as a subject which is mainly concerned with the study of nature and causes of generation of wealth of nation, impressed by the condemnation of 19th century writers like Carlyle and Riskin. Marshall introduced the concept of welfare in the study of economics. According to Marshall, economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It examines that part of individual and social actions which is closely connected with the material requisites of well-being. In this definition, Marshall has shifted emphasis from wealth to man. He gives primary importance to man and secondary importance to wealth. The Robbins concept of the subject matter of economics is that economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means, which have alternative uses. According to Robbins, human wants are limit, unlimited means at his disposal. To satisfy these wants are not only limited but have alternative uses. Man is always busy in adjusting his limited resources for satisfaction of unlimited ends. The problems that center around such activities constitute the subject matter of economics. Paul A. Samuelson, however, includes the dynamic aspect of economics in the subject matter. According to him, economics is the study of how man and society choose with or without money to imply productive uses to produce various commodities over time and distribute them for consumption now and in future among various people and groups of society. Point number two, nature of economics. The economists are also divided regarding to the nature of economics. The following questions are generally covered in the nature of economics. Number one, is economics a science or an art? Number two, is a positive science or a normative science? Economics as a science or an art? Economics is both science and an art. Economics is considered a science because it is a systematic knowledge derived from observation, study of and experimentation. However, the degree of perfection of economics in laws is less compared with the laws of pure sciences. An art is the practical application of knowledge for achieving definite ends. A science teaches us to know a phenomenon and an art teaches us to do a thing. For example, there is an inflation in Pakistan. This information is derived from positive science. The government takes certain fiscal and monetary measures to bring down the general level of prices in the country. The study of these fiscal and monetary measures to bring down inflation makes the subject of economics as an art. After arriving at conclusion that economics is both science as well as an art, there arises another controversy. Is economics a positive science or a normative science? Point number three, economics as a positive or normative science. There is again difference of opinions among economists whether economics is a positive or normative science. Lionel Robbins, Sr. and Friedman have described economics as a positive science. They opined that economics is based on logic. It is a value theory only. It is therefore neutral between ends. Marshall, P. Go, Hartray, Keynes and many other economists regard economics as a normative science. According to them, 
द रियल फंक्शन ऑफ अ साइंस इज टू इंक्रीज द वेल बींग ऑफ मैन दे हैव गिवन सजेशंस इन देर वर्क for promotion of human welfare for example malthus has given suggestions of checking the rising population gm keynes has suggested measures to remove unemployment we agree with mr fraser that an economist who is only an economist is a poor pretty fish an economist must come forward to give advice to the problems facing the human beings like depression unemployment high prices etc for increasing his welfare economics to conclude has both theoretical as well as practical side in other words it is both a positive and a normative science it is enough for today allah hafiz